Hi, it's Angela H7030. Hi, today I'm really excited to show you my first box card. I followed a tutorial which is down in the link below. I think it's a stamping up one. What you're looking at right now is the box. Um, what I'm doing is this is 12 by 12 um, paper. It's quite good. It's from the um, Cherry on Line Stack by DCWV. And I'm using the papers that I wouldn't really use on the card or whatever like this. So I'm trying to use up all my um, excess paper. So what I'm going to do, what I'm doing now is just um, using it for packaging. So that was the top. Here's my card inside. I'll take it out. Um, the two the two papers were clashing so I turned it inside out one inside out so when you open it you've got a nice pattern it's glazed and stuff like that but um, I can't see I've got another one of these can't see me using it just now anyway onto the card this is how it looks flat um, I chose to not score the back of my card so it stands up. What I did, I made a boo boo, and I'll show you first. What I should have done is this bit here. Um, this is on the flap, so now it prevents it from um, um, going up like this one. So what I would advise, if you're going to do anything like that, stick it on the back, on the inside, so the flaps, like what I did here so the flaps can still go up and down so it's a nice surprise when they pick it up so this is how it goes I'm one handed when you pick it up so um, let me use my two hands and I'll get back so this is what it looks like standing up I was going for it's a for 50th birthday I was going for like a 3D garden look um, so that's what it looks like standing up. Obviously the flaps is down and the flaps are down there and um, that's that sort of 3D look. Um, I'll take it down and explain what I did. Firstly this is the back. Uh, following the tutorial um, I only scored three of the panels and I left this one standing and this paper here again is from the Cherry and Lime Stack by DCWV uh, this butterfly here was given to me by um, Yvonne Wright in a swap and this piece here is from uh, the Spring Jubilee collection by Pink Paisley but um, I actually got it from um, a, a magazine, I can't remember which one From the top of the front, um, I've put a 50 on a button that Amy Leco gave me and I put I put a rub on 50 there. This was a filigree piece which I actually painted with it's gold metallic bronze and it is by Windsor and Newton. It's a lovely, lovely ink and yes it does stick and it gives a beautiful finish there. See, it doesn't come off at all. There you go. Um, these stamps here, unless I tell you otherwise, it's from um, the Rose Garden collection that I got in, um, well it's free f uh, with a stamping magazine. So these are all included and I stamped, backed it on cardstock and cut every single one out. Here on the gazebo I fussy cut that. Um, this stamp here at the back is again from the Birdsong collection which is another collection that I got from um, a magazine I'm going to subscribe to and so I coloured it in with um, watercolour pencils I'm just getting used to them now and around here down the back there I don't know if you can see down the back there I cut out, um, stamped and cut out two bushes which is all backed on cardstock to make it stand up 
this fountain has got um, diamond stickles on it and it's beautiful and um, I stamped it on blue first and then first, uh, stamped it again on um, a piece of the Gabrielle collection uh, by Bow Bunny and uh, then for, like paper pierced it paper pieced it sorry there's more bushes down there um, that's just on the cross piece there to make it build up the garden this lady comes with the stamp set that was my inspiration because I wanted to put her in a garden I paper pierced her hat and her dress and her shoes um, and what one was that? I think that was um Oh yes, this was a paper, I'm not sure, it was Amy Lecco that gave me. No. So I stamped that on white cardstock first and then just coloured in, shaded in with blue pencil and then I paper pierced on top of that. Again, this part here was from the um, her flesh, um, was from the um, Gabrielle collection. That was hard to cut out, <laughs> especially the hat. And then again I paper pierced and coloured in the basket and the plants going down there. And then, um, I don't know what collection that is, but um, uh, Wentworth Scale gave me, it was a tiny little birthday one and it had this tiny little dog on it. I thought it was so cute to keep her company. So I just coloured it in and of course cut it out. And the bush, there's another bush there, and most of them's got a little touch of um, stickles on it. At the front, um, this is where I put, started. I bought some die cuts from um, eBay and um, stuck that on, so I didn't cut that. Oh, sorry, my birdhouse actually came with the, um, the collection again, the same collection. I stamped it onto brown cardstock and um, then I just put one, embossed it with um, clear embossing powder, not UT, just to give it a rough look and then I put one of the birds there. It took about three days for stamping and cutting out these little things but it was so much fun when I finished cutting it all out because I had like a little scene that I could play with, it's really good. So um, here's a bush that I, down here, on the vase here I've put crackle accents on that and then um, I cut out um, this stamp that you can see that is also going around the bottom as well I just continue to stamp around and here as well to just give a bush effect that one was from the birdsong collection and um, I paper pieced the basket and coloured in the um, lavender wheelbarrow came with the same set and I paper pierced the flowers and cut it in lantern this thing here coming down to the, the bottom flap here is from the same um, stamp set and I just shaded it in with a bit of blue and put some ribbon around the flap and uh, a couple of flowers down the bottom here um, I put some red flowers and you just painted it lightly painted it with just white paint because um, you didn't want it, I don't want to take it, um, your eye, you know, draw the eye away from the top. So, <clears throat> sorry, here's the side. And again, as I say, it's stamped and I stamped and coloured that, backing it onto a cardstock. This flap actually goes up, so I covered it with some paper and, um, this bird here, um, it was from the uh, Spring and Spring Jubilee by Pink Paisley, and it's so nice. So I just fussy cut that a bit out. Um, that butterfly was cut out from um, I think it's a Gabrielle, and then I had the chipboard pieces to go with the Pink Paisley collection as well. So that's what I put on the butterfly too. And uh, this paper uh, came from that stack I was talking about. 
um, that Amy Lecco gave me. On the other side it's similar, um, you can see the fence with um, the, uh, a butterfly, punch butterfly. On the other side is a bird. And um, then this is from, because I use the paper, I cut out the Gabrielle um, collection. As you know it's got some beautiful butterflies. So I wanted to use the whole paper. So I put those on the side. So, so all in all, um, that's my first box card. Of course, you learn from your mistakes. Um, I must say, I, I did. I followed the tutorial, and I did um, make my box a bit taller. That's the only thing, and a bit wider. I started off with a twelve by twelve paper, and um, then did my own measurements. But the the whole process again is exactly the same I just made my lapels a bit longer and stuff because I needed to keep these things in proportion so um, I do hope you like my card and have a good day bye